Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV. I have a red trailer behind me. This is a neat looking Winnebago Mini 2401G model. It's about 27 feet, 10 inches long. Fully loaded weighs around 7,000 pounds, so not super heavy. This is a couple's camper dream, I would say. It doesn't have bunks, but it has a nice spacious living area and some other neat features inside. So we'll do a quick tour on the outside and then jump inside. Magnet catches on the pass-through storage, which is real clean and goes all the way to the other side. It's lighted in there, so it makes it easy to find all your camping gear after dark. Up in front, we have twin 30-pound propane bottles that'll switch over automatically when one's empty, it'll go to the other. Now integrated into this power tongue jack is actually a bubble level. So you don't have to stick a level on here, you got a level right on here which helps the leveling process. And it's lighted and it makes it easy for hooking and unhooking. Uh, battery tray right behind there. Now, as is always the case with our pre-owned inventory, we're gonna go through a pretty rigorous um, testing protocol, inspection protocol on these units to make sure that all the RV systems are in good working order for you, the next owner. That way you know you're not inheriting someone else's problems. And we'll put that in writing. It's a basic 90-day guarantee. If you want to buy a more extended warranty, you can do that too. Of course, we're on fiberglass, nice fiberglass molded front cap, the opposite side of our pass-through storage. Now, if you want to add solar uh, capabilities to this, you have solar on the side, right? Here's your solar plug, should you want to add solar onto this unit. Of course, our dump valves are right down here, wastewater holding tank and the uh, gate valve right there. We have Schwintec slide mechanisms on this. Our techs like and prefer Schwintec brand slide mechanisms because they're the most reliable. And if you ever do have an issue, they're the easiest to work on. Now back here is kind of utility central. So this is where all the hookups are gonna happen. We have a detachable 30 amp power cord. You have your cable and satellite hookups if you have those where you're staying. Down below we have our fresh water fill and then our outdoor shower assembly, hot and cold. Now the previous owner put uh, mud dauber screens on the water heater and furnace already. This is great and I always recommend this, keep the mud daubers from going in there and taking up housekeeping. Speaking of the furnace, the furnace uh, assembly is back here and again it's got a screen on it. We have a ladder where we can access the uh, roof a couple times and give it a good bath. Um, you'll see inside, this is the range hood vent right here. Back of our refrigerator and then a nice awning with an LED light strip integrated into the awning. Of course, it is electric. It's push button uh, awning. Um, we have power out here and cable. So if you wanted to put a television out here, you can hook it up here and set it on a table. If you wanted to put a TV mount, right here's where you would do that. Here's the backer location where you could put a television mount. Let's go inside. We're in a red Winnebago Mini. This is really a neat looking unit. Uh, fiberglass all the way around in great shape. It is pre-owned. It's very lightly pre-owned. So when I step into this, um, it smells like a new trailer. It looks like a new trailer. There's no signs of, uh, you know, real wear and tear. It's really clean. So let's go inside and have a look. Okay, now we're on the inside of this Winnebago Mini. I have a slide right here, which houses this nice big sofa and a large closet. So when this slide gets expanded, we have a decent amount of living space in here. Here's the neat part. Perfect viewing angle straight across from the TV, which is above the dinette. So a couple, actually three people can sit here comfortably, watch the TV. Another couple people can be sitting at the dinette and see the TV as well. So this really opens it up nicely. Now this is a jackknife sofa. Simply lift up and drop it down. And now we have a decent sleeping surface for a guest. And of course the dinette drops down into a sleeper as well. 
it's time to put it back up just to go like so we do have a little bit of storage under here for blankets and so on as well a little bit of storage above the sofa and now this one's got a rear kitchen floor plan so this is where all the cooking happens We've got a split basin stainless steel sink right here with inserts four drawers below for storage cabinets above also for storage and this gives you an idea of all the inspection things that we go through the technician has to go through and check all of these various systems and give us his signature saying that he did inspect this and everything's in good working order nice little microwave here i'm not sure that it's ever been used it doesn't look like there's been any splattering there's nothing it just looks brand new same way with this cooktop it looks very 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 clean and below that modest sized little oven now we have a gas electric refrigerator here so this is running off propane when you don't have access to electrical power as soon as you do have electrical power as long as it's set to automatic it's going to switch to electricity it prefers electricity behind here we have our awning controls and awning power our slide out control and slide out power shortcuts for light switches and then this is where you'll check your different tank levels by simply pressing on these little buttons and it'll tell you of course now they're all empty turning on our water uh, heater either gas or electric and finally our water pump switch all behind this little door here little bonus cubby down there for shoes and whatnot right inside the door so up here we have uh, a stereo with an optical drive so you can play CDs in that and on the other side is a little storage cabinet. I already have some wall art here, how about that? Now this is great, 27 foot unit but look at this closet, holy mackerel, there's a lot of storage in there. It's already got a clothes hanging rod, you could conceivably put some shelves in there but man there's a lot of storage in there, that's really fantastic. Coming up into the bedroom, you can access the bathroom either from the hallway or from the bedroom in here. So if you do have guests, they have access to the bathroom. You can access the bathroom from this side here as well. Now we have a pretty decent mattress on. This is a Simmons mattress. Lift up here to reveal all this storage underneath the bed. It's got guest struts. It is plywood, not particle board, so thumbs up to Winnebago for doing that. It's definitely a plus. Now we have on this side hanging clothes. You have storage up above the entire bed assembly on each side of it here. And then there's a little drawer on this side too, which is kind of neat. For storage now you have usb charging ports as well as household current up there for charging maybe you have a cpap machine something like that would work ceiling vent so you can be venting um, the cool air in from the outside on those kinds of days here's our second access door and a lot of people ask why is there two doors when the slide comes in on this unit you lose access to the bedroom so if in the middle of your trip you want to stop come in here and grab a shirt out of the closet or maybe lay down and catch a few winks you have access to the bedroom right here without having to push the slide out so again here's the other access to the bathroom I'll open up this door so again two access doors to the bathroom we have a glass shower enclosure nice little medicine cabinet here and some storage below the sink as well uh, it's classy classy shower enclosure here this is to keep it from slight opening up during travel pretty sizable shower enclosure and very very clean the everything about this is very clean a foot flush uh, toilet right here which is porcelain so easy to keep clean easy to maintain and then behind this door here we've got a couple storage cabinets as well um, for extra storage so again, we're in a 2401G Winnebago Mini. This guy's red. It's a really a neat looking unit. Um, love to show it to you in person. Just give us a call. We'll get you fixed up with one of our trailer sales guys and help you. Um, this is an example of folks writing in, or in this case calling and say, hey, would you do a video 
on that Winnebago Mini you have out there because they live a little distance away from here. If you see something on our inventory, maybe you live four or five or six hours away and you want a video, all you have to do is ask and we'll do our best to get it posted for you. My name is Mike. Thanks for joining me. Hey, if you think about it and you feel like it, I'd love it if you'd click like and subscribe below. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. Come on out. We think that shopping for RVs should be as fun as using them. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Bot RV.